Welcome to Newsmakers. My name is Sean Smith. I'm the Assistant Director of Community Relations for Cheshire County Public Schools. Joining us today, the Superintendent, Dr. Marcus Newsom. Welcome to you, Dr. Newsom. Thank you. We are taping this segment. Uh, schools just ended, but just before school did end, we had 11 high school graduations. Tell us about the graduations this year. Yes, we had another great year of graduations. Uh, as you mentioned, 11 graduations. Uh, a total of about 4,400 students walk across the stage, excitedly um, being celebrated by their parents and family and friends. And um, we are confident these students are well prepared for their futures. Um, the majority of our graduates uh, graduated with um, advanced diplomas, uh, prepared for college. As a matter of fact, they've taken so many dual college enrollment courses that um, they say parents a total of about $19 million wow. in tuition funding for next year. And so it was a very successful year. That's an incredible statistic. And, and, and thinking about each graduation, you have the chance to speak to the graduates and to their families. Um, I know things are a little different in each graduation, but in general terms, what was your message this year? Well, it's interesting. Typically, uh, I don't have a message. Um, I focus on uh, recognizing students. Um, they, they have the, uh, typically the class president, the valedictorian and salutatorian who give uh, messages. And I know that parents and families aren't there to hear the superintendent. <laughs> and so uh, that's one of my gifts to the graduates is I don't give a speech. Uh, I recognize graduates who have uh, represented their class well. And one thing you do have, obviously, is the superintendent's awards. Uh, you give those to two students at each school. Tell us about those awards. Yes, I do. Um, each year, I ask the faculty of each high school to identify the two students that best represent the finest qualities of their class. And I present them with the superintendent's award for excellence in scholarship, citizenship, and service. And um, they are just incredible students. They receive a $1,000 scholarship each. So this year, uh, we gave out $22,000 in scholarship to uh, those seniors. and. Um, they're, they're so well deserving and um, uh, I received the nicest thank you cards and notes from those students. And as you think about graduations, uh, obviously you're out in the schools year round, but as you prepare for those, I'm sure you come across a lot of different memorable stories. Are there any, some that kind of stick out to you from this past year? Yeah, that's another thing I do at graduations in addition to the scholarships. Uh, on occasion, I'll recognize one student. People assume that going through high school is easy and some of our students have so many challenges to overcome and uh, I did highlight uh, one student who uh, had a chronic um, illness um, that caused her to experience severe pain and uh, there's no cure for it or no cure for the pain and yet she was able to persevere, uh, graduate um, with, um, with honors and uh, just serve as a shining example to the perseverance that many of our high school students have to overcome and, and what a principal said about her is she always uh, greets everyone with a smile and a cheerful attitude and it's her attitude that I think has been infectious. Uh, there are so many other stories that we shared of uh, students who've overcome tremendous obstacles. Uh, we have uh, 30 seconds left but one of the questions we always get every year is uh, you have a graduation at the Siegel Center and a lot of regional school districts do that with Cheshfield schools. Tell us real quickly kind of why we go there. Yeah well we have more parents who want to come than we have space in our facilities. And so at Siegel Center, we can seat about 6,000 um, people per graduation, and it saves money, it saves, saves time, and it's much more efficient. Yeah, well, thanks so much for being here. Congratulations on a great school year. I know we'll have you back to talk more about the upcoming school year. Thank you. Thanks to our viewers. Please join us next time. We're about Cheshire County Public Schools.